welcome back to my channel. I'm Lindy, aka Paleo Barbie, for those of you that are new. Um, today's going to be a meal prep for Thanksgiving video. Um, I've got some errands to run. I'm currently in line to get some free produ produce that I'm going to give to my mom. Um, a local church, is, along with the food bank, is giving a huge box of produce, um, which is great. But there's a million people here, so hopefully this won't take all day. Um, and then I'm going to get back and start making my cornbread for my dressing and uh, um, some of my sides. So I will show you what I make as I go along and um, if I ever get out of this line. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's get back to the house and I will show you what we're making. Alright, the first thing I'm doing is making a pan of keto cornbread. Um, I use Elena's Pantry uh, recipe, which is the same recipe I use when I make my chili and I make cornbread to go with it. Um, I probably could use a smaller pan, but it's okay. It's going to get all broken up anyway, so I don't care. So I'm going to throw this in the oven and let it cook. All right, guys, the next thing I'm doing um, since the cornbread is done is I am making some drop biscuits from the Southern Keto cook Cookbook. Um, I've got them on the pan here. Um, uh, those are going to be a part of the dressing along with the cornbread. So I'm going to put them in the oven. All right, while the biscuits are uh, in the oven, I started to mix, get some things ready for the green bean casserole, which is different than your normal green bean casserole. I don't like regular green bean casserole. Um, this recipe is, all these recipes are on my playlist for my Thanksgiving menu. Um, so all you have to do is go to that playlist and they will all be there. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna melt some butter, uh, chop up some onion, let this blue cheese sit out a minute. I'm gonna grab some garlic. I'm gonna be using this shredded Gruyere and Swiss. And then before that, I went ahead and put some pork rinds in the uh, Nutribullet with some Tony's and ground it up. And that's going to be our topping for it instead of the onions like they do on regular green bean casserole. Um, and so we're going to get this going and then I will show you what we do next. All right, guys, I've got the onion sauteing in butter. Um, it's just about done. I'm going to throw into that four cans of French style green beans, a block of cream cheese, about two cloves of garlic. Some salt and pepper and a little Tony's and then we're gonna mix that up until all the cheese green cream cheese in, is incorporated all right green beans in cream cheese in garlic in about to add some salt and pepper and mix it together all right all of the cream cheese and other ingredients with the green beans are all incorporated now I'm gonna put a handful of the Gruyere cheese in here Mix that in, and then we're gonna put it in a casserole. All right, now we're gonna top with some more of the cheese, and then we're gonna put our pork rind, or pork panko, whatever you wanna call it, topping on top of this. All right, cheese is on. Now we're gonna put our pork topping. We just crumble it and cover it all over. Bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes in the oven. Just like so. All right, it's going in the oven for 30 minutes. All right, here is the finished green bean casserole. So this is my cornbread and my biscuits all uh, crumbled up into here together in this bowl. So I'm just putting these aside while I'm doing working on the other things. This is my keto bread or low carb coconut flour bread. Um, there's no wheat in it, so I wouldn't say it's really low carb. I would say it's uh, it is keto, but it's also paleo. It's the Julian Bakery brand is the kind I use. You can use whatever kind you want. I cubed it up. I'm about to put it on a cookie sheet. Um, a drizzle butter, garlic, um, parsley, poultry seasoning, um, and some freeze dried onions on it. Mix it up and I'm going to toast it in the um, broiler real quick. And then I'm going to work on doing some celery and onions sauteed um, and getting all that together for the, for the dressing. This recipe is on my uh, Thanksgiving menu playlist. So it's okay if you don't need to, if you can't follow along too well because I'm I get sidetracked by things when I'm meal prepping so um, that re whole recipe is on there anyway it's also gonna be my cookbook too but I'm gonna go ahead and get these toasted up all right so I've got my seasoning and my butter on here it's gonna go into the broil and toast up 
while this is going, I'll be chopping up my onion and celery. Um, I've got some chicken thighs in the Instant Pot over there cooking to be used in the dressing as well. So, uh, just a little bit and I'll show you how it goes. Veggies are cooking. Meanwhile, while the uh, veggies are sauteing, I have transferred the cornbread, biscuits, and the uh, keto bread in here uh, into this casserole. And we will be mixing the dressing in this to uh, once all the other stuff's done. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do today, cause this will be a part one and a part two, cause I'll be doing some more stuff tomorrow, is I'm going to boil my cranberries in some water with some monk fruit and some lemon juice and uh, let them cook down to tender so that I can make my cranberry sauce. All right guys, this is simmered. The cranberries are done. I also forgot I added a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Um, and now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of this beef gelatin powder to thicken it up. Stick it in the neutral bullet so that I can have more of a smooth consistency. All right, the dressing is done and I'm going to let it cool and then cover it and put it in the fridge until Thanksgiving. And the cranberries are done. I just gotta skim off that off the top, let it cool, pull it into, put it into the fridge also. All right guys, so I've got part one done. I will see you tomorrow for part two of our Thanksgiving meal prep and a lot to do. So I will show you tomorrow what I make. All right, thanks for watching guys.